Hi everyone and welcome back to The Rules! I am having a day... Ugh. I stood in my usual spot for almost an hour staring at this camera trying to figure out what I was going to make my video about today and I came up with nothing. And you know what? It ticked me off. The more time passed, the angrier I got and I just started fuming and I was just about to write a very angry tweet and tell people that there was nothing happening today, video-wise, when I realized perfect opportunity to make video. Yes, this is kind of manipulating the concept a little bit, but hey, I make the rules. Literally. People say all the time that anger is not a good or productive or attractive type of emotion to feel, but really, if you don't get your anger out sometimes, if you just let it bubble under the surface forever, then eventually, well... So, my rule for today is express that anger in a productive way. That might include singing your favorite angry song at the top of your lungs. Throwing some of that energy into exercise. Imagining the face of a person who's done you wrong on your pillow and punching it! That felt pretty good. In this case, I'm gonna rant about other things that bother me because, well, you know what? The first thing that was bothering me isn't really bothering me so much anymore. The video is kind of happening. So, um, but I made a list of other things that bother me and these are things that have been bubbling under the surface so I might as well get them out now and ranting is a healthy way to do that because, well, I mean, you can choose to listen or not. People who walk too slow on the sidewalk. Unless you are physically unable to go any faster, then move at a reasonable pace, people. Groups of people who take up the entirety of the sidewalk so that you have to walk into traffic to get around them. Just a little bit of consideration, people. That's all I'm asking for. When people are in social situations and they pay more attention to their phone than to you. My eyes are here, not here. When people are condescending and try to make you feel stupid, I know that it's usually just them covering up their own insecurities, but still, it does not make somebody feel good. Especially when that somebody is me. When the internet goes down and you are still expected to pay for all of the service that was supposed to be provided to you, but wasn't because the internet was not working. When the internet's not working. When I go to yoga and somebody puts their mat directly in front of mine. It's called staggering, people. It's not that difficult. When people don't respect relationship boundaries, when they try to hit on you or your significant other, even though they know that you're in a relationship, especially if they do it in front of you. <sighs> when my camera batteries are both dead because I forgot to charge both of them. And finally, when I think I'm winning at Scrabble, and then I lose by a point or two. Well, other than the fact that that riled me up a little bit, I'm actually feeling a little better, so... That's good. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you have had anything lately that has ticked you off and how you've dealt with it. Anger is a healthy expression sometimes, if you express it wisely. Oh guys, I am over this today. I promise I will be back next week and won't let myself get into this situation. I already have ideas, so it's all good. But um, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Um, oh, if you don't already, uh, go follow me on Twitter. Alison McDee, same thing. Um, it's fun to have Twitter friends, I don't know. <laughs> oh, um, I'll see you next week, bye. Oh, one last thing, thank you to the new people who have subscribed, I'm now over 900 subscribers, and thank you to everyone who has stuck around for this long. Um, it's nice to have you all here. I promise I'm not angry at you, bye.